Hello, Aries. Rambling Mike here. Gonna play a little tarot with you today. Thanks for tuning in one more time. Appreciate your time, that I do. Outdoors these days, figured I'd bring you along with me. It's a beautiful day, hope you're having a beautiful day too. Definitely wanna thank you for all your likes, all your subscribes. Thanks for the view, appreciate all that. Definitely wanna thank all my Aries friends that have blessed me with donations. Many of you, so very kind of you, my friends. I appreciate them all, large or small. Aries, if you've blessed me with a donation, thank you. Of course, a big shout out. And thank you to all my Rambler Nation members. Mwah, I love you guys. Thank you for your continued support month after month. Uh, you guys are amazing. What a family over there. For those of you that don't know, uh, Rambler Nation is a membership channel that I have. Uh, every Wednesday night, I do live broadcasts uh, with members of Rambler Nation. We play cards and Giveaway tarot decks, lots of t-shirts, lots of fun. Every Saturday night, I do a live broadcast over there. Saturdays, I generally teach. Uh, this Saturday, I'll be teaching on the Page of Swords. I like the Page of Swords. And then every Sunday is Sunday Fundy at Rambler Nation. Now, this Sunday is a collective Sunday Fundy. That's uh, the 20th. This uh, I will be doing uh, uh, a Sunday Fundy with the collective. But... I only do two of those a month with the collective. Any other Sundays, every Sunday nights, uh, Sunday fun day over there at Rambler Nation. Anyway, if you've been thinking about becoming a member, love to have you. The join button's right down below. And uh, to be honest with you, the best part of Rambler Nation is the family. Anyway, love you guys. All right. Thanks uh, for giving me a minute. Let's see where we're going right here. Uh, oh, definitely want to chat. <laughs> definitely want to talk about uh, my website. DivinelyLoveTarot.com. I uh, got a bunch of tarot readers over there, uh, astrologers. If you want to get your chart done, all that. Thanks for all your support with all my friends over here. I do want to mention that, um, you know, scammer alert, right? Um, I, me or my people aren't going to be chasing you down. You know, we're not con we're not connected with. Uh, Dr. Billy Bojangos, you know, who's the miracle worker who doesn't have their own YouTube channel. We're not connected to those people at all in any way, shape, or form. And it's just kind of a scammer alert these days, you know. And also with love, huh? Scammer, scammer love alert. <laughs> yeah, so thanks for all your support with all my people over here. Thanks for contacting them. And getting you a nice solid reading, you know, for real. Or getting your chart done or whatever. And it's just like scammer alert these days. Everywhere, you know. Scammer love. Scammer love alert. You know. It's definitely retrograde season right now. I wanted to talk about that before we get to the cards. Um, let me see. Uh, definitely retrogrades right now. A, a lot of them. And good stuff, if you ask me. Retros are always good. They give us a minute to just take a break. Rework, redo, rethink. And uh, let me see. Pluto's retrograde right now. All the way until October. I'm really interested to see what's going to unfold in October. A lot of these major planets are going to go direct in October. Re uh, Pluto uh, being retro right now is giving people uh, the chance to examine their psyches. Yeah, 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 the Great Awakening. <laughs> yeah, consciousness expansion's happening uh, worldwide. This old Aquarian's excited about that, yeah. Uh, let me see, Saturn's retro. The old karma planet, he's taking a nap right now. Means that we have to walk true north by ourselves without old Papa Karma going, no, 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 no. Oh, I know which way to go, right? Um, Saturn... I got all this information off my phone too, you know, and just Google what's going on with these retros. Uh, Saturn demands that we honor ourself and don't let others peer pressure us into anything that makes us uncomfortable. That's nice. Conscious expansion, not being peer pressured into anything that makes you feel uncomfortable. Okay, these are my kind of retros. And now we got the Mercury retro, right? The communication planet. It's at the end. Ooh, it's definitely been crunchy too, has it not? You know, just to say it the least. Um, uh, Mercury goes direct June 22nd. Yay. 
<laughs> doesn't come out of shadow until July 7th. And um, check my astrology a little bit. I believe that there is a new moon on the 9th of July. Energies are about to change right here, but still kind of crunchy. Let's scammer alert just everywhere. Just saying, just saying, huh, guys? Uh, Jupiter is going to go retrograde on the 20th, just a couple days uh, from now. Jupiter is in Pluto. Uh, in Pluto. Jupiter is in uh, Pisces. And uh, it's uh, pretty much uh, stopped anymore. And we're that close to uh, turning around and coming back. It's going to come back into Aquarius uh, later on in July, July 28th, uh, from what I remember is when it's going to come into Aquarius again to finish up what just started. Uh, let me see, what was that date? Yeah, 12, 21, 2020, yeah. <laughs> 12, 21, 2020, the Great Conjunction. Well, Jupiter is going to come back into Aquarius. Um, and, and, you know, with Saturn retrograde as well, Saturn retrograde can always be about great injustices being justified, right? Eyes wide open and, and with the Mercury retrograde, especially towards the end of it, you know, watch anything you're signing these days. If it can wait for a couple more days, it, but we can't stop our lives. Like, I, I get it. We got to read between the lines right now, devil's in the details. You know, I'm almost done talking about the Mercury retrograde for one more time. But, you know, I don't want anybody getting burned. Let's not get burned. Let's use this time to rework and rethink and redo and reread and all that fun stuff right now, huh? Uh, also, on the 23rd, um, Neptune's going to go retrograde. Uh, it'll go direct in, um, when's that, November but uh, that's the one, that's that big old planet that when it goes retrograde, all the tarot readers will be talking about the rose-colored glasses coming off. So we have a season here of rose-colored glasses coming off, uh, consciousness expansion, not being peer pressured into anything that makes you feel uncomfortable. Reading between the lines, not getting scammed with love or whatever. And uh, and then Jupiter retrograde is going to cause us to slow down and take a good look on the inside. Oh, here we go. Zen, right? Let's make our world from the inside out. And that's pretty much what Mike's all about anymore is the Zen thing. If you don't know what Zen is, you can just use your computer right there and just Z-E-N. Hit that magnifying glass right there. See what comes up. Could just be as simple as getting a little... A little uh, something in the smoke, uh, sage in the morning, a little quiet time with you. Could be uh, digging into some of those amazing uh, Zen masters that will come up on that list when you hit that magnifying glass. Listen to uh, maybe what they have to say a little bit instead of, I don't know, listening to the news, you know. So anyway, uh, these days I'm only taking a look at divine feminine energy. Yeah, 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 you know, all my, all my, all my golden boys and golden girls, because divine feminine energy can either have a masculine or a feminine body, or as I like to call it, an earth suit, because we need an earth suit to live on earth, our soul needs an earth suit to live on earth, so it is the body, anyway, I'm definitely focusing on uh, divine feminine energy right now, twin flame. Uh, the twin flame journey is a lot of fun. I found a, an amazing, uh, very knowledgeable individual on YouTube. Do not know him personally, but I like all of his free videos. Took a lot of the mystery out of the old twin flame journey for a lot of us. And uh, you guys have heard me mention him before, maybe you haven't. Um, it's uh, Kurt over at New World All-Star. He's an amazing teacher on uh, the Twin Flame journey, being the uh, true spiritual journey, the Zen. You know, I, I like twins. I'm going to talk about them for a while. They're very intriguing to me. Always seem to be some kind of age difference. Generally, uh, Divine Feminine being older and Divine Masculine being younger. And the old runner-chaser thing. 
wind's blowing here a little bit. Let me get a gem on that. Um, that's always interesting, uh, that age difference right there. Uh, I also like the, the fact the fact that it's a double incarnation. Mm -hmm. Alter egos of each other playing out in the 3D. Two bodies, two minds, right? Two personalities, two different ways of thinking, two different bodies in the 3D with one soul. It doesn't mean that one of them has a half a soul. No, they both have a full soul. They share it between two bodies. It's very interesting, very intriguing. And seems to be playing out a lot anymore on this planet. People coming to the realization that, wow, this is the true spiritual journey. The yin and the yang. And, and any more um, divine feminine energy, male or female. A lot of guys that watch me, they wonder. Uh, I seem to resonate with you, Mike. Does that mean I'm divine feminine? I don't know. Check the energies. Google it yourself. It's time for us to Google our own stuff. You know, question everything anymore. Take a good look at it yourself. And uh, I know that I have a strong uh, divine feminine energy, um, I nice balance. I think it's I think it's easier for fellas that have a strong divine feminine energy because you know we have the masculine instincts, so we got a lot of those boundaries anyway. That so many of my divine feminine friends that have divine feminine energy and a divine feminine earth suit, they so need to get those boundaries up, you know that divine masculine energy within ourselves um and, and a lot of a lot of divine feminine are doing that at this particular point in time and i love you i appreciate you and i'm happy for you and it's about standing up and doing what's best for you loving yourself first and uh and uh, making that stick you know for you in your life so um i am and and like i said uh my friend over there at new world all-star he's got amazing free videos on all of that if you think you are a a, a divine feminine twin flame, male or female. I, I, I recommend you to go check out uh, Kurt's videos, his free ones, and uh, see if you can find some freedom over there. <laughs> it's all about Zen. It's a very cool journey. And so these days, I'm just throwing cards right here uh, for divine feminine that has detached at this particular point in time from their divine masculine. I do believe that the detachment is very important if union is ever to come, right? There needs to be a nice balance and, uh, you know, divine masculine. Uh, they like to learn through the school of hard knocks. I love divine masculine, I do, I do. Because the truth of the matter is if you're a twin flame, your divine masculine is not them, they are you in the 3D. <laughs> so I love them, you know, I do. It's that, it's that Zen journey. And ain't no telling what's gonna happen when people you know, start going down on the inside. It is the age of Aquarius. I love this. I love the Zen. I'm going to talk about it for a while because um, it's going to be a real hit in the age of Aquarius. Huge amounts of spirituality with uh, low amounts of religion in it. Um, the simplicity of who we are, a soul that has a mind that's in a body, the Godhead representing a source, higher self, soul, Fun stuff, and uh, I'm very intrigued with it. I, I, it's definitely going to be a hit in the age of Aquarius right here. And so, you, you know, you may as well, you know, start the, the fad. <laughs> all right, all right. So, all that being said, I love you. I know I, know I, I know I talk a lot, but it is what it is, and I just flow with spirit. And I'm going to play cards, because if you're Zen, if you're Divine Feminine and you're Zen... And you've detached from your divine masculine. It's going to be your choice what you're going to do right now. You don't have to take them back. You can believe for whatever you want. You can take them back if you want. All that fun stuff. The power is with divine feminine at this particular point in time. So eyes wide open, huh? If they come knocking on the door right now with all this crunchiness, <laughs> I'd, I'd give it a couple days. But, you know, you guys are full-grown adults that so watch me around here. So I'm going to throw some cards. I am. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Let me tune in right here. Hey, Terry Love Team. Aries is here to play with us today. My divine feminine. 
Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Help me see what I need. Help uh, my divine feminine to see and hear what they need. Let's throw just five cards out. Uh, what's going on with their DM? Because Aries has gone Zen. Okay. And these can be cross watcher too for all divine feminine. Oh, 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 Queen of Swords showed up. Oh, they want to talk, huh, Aries? I see you right there. Oh, oh, nothing but the facts, ma'am. Nothing but the facts, sir. You know, it's I, I love I love the Queen of Swords. Um, she's for real. He's for real. You know, gonna get the truth. I love all the doves flying around her. Like I was gonna say, this can be a cross watch for Divine Feminine looking for their what's going on with their Aries DM, right? <laughs> oh, somebody, somebody's expecting the truth. Maybe regular communication, honest, clear communication. Look at that. Look at that big old lit up uh, top up there. It's like the crown chakra is just, just blown open with divine feminine these days. Wow. Love it. All right. All right. Thank you. Uh, five cards, love team. What's going on with Aries DM? I'm uh, going to cut the deck, see what's on the bottom. Throw five cards. Here we go. Here we go, Aries. What's on the bottom of the deck? Aries, love. What's going on? What's going on with the DM? Oh, yeah. There, there they are. That's, that's the old fire pony right there. You know, I like the fire pony. That's the great adventurer. Takes great bravery and courage to get on that pony and come prancing in towards, you know, the queen of swords. <laughs> I got to give credit where credit's due. But, you know, it is the little fire pony right there, right? So, let's see what's going on here, Aries. Uh, expect a visit. <laughs> here we go here we go and, you know and that's that old passionate one there huh huh 20 twins that's that passionate one right? oh lord oh lordy and it's all about divine feminine getting out of their mind and getting into their soul getting into their zen and as soon as you do and you have some kind of spiritual awakening i mean these twins are very spiritual journeys of course they're going to show back up let's figure this out here we go i want five cards What's going on with Aries DM? Because Aries gone Zen. Here we go. Oh, ten swords. Oh, 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 ten swords. Ooh, very painful ending. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, you know, it's definitely singing the blues right there. Look at that light coming in from the divine, you know. They want all those swords to come out. It's This is the sun in Gemini. You know, they want the painfulness of it to end and maybe some kind of new day to dawn. I, I, I like that, uh, you know, if you're looking for your DM to fix themselves. Well, they're going to, as you do, but I like all that divine light right there myself. And they're, and those swords aren't in the back. Definitely some, some healing. Some healing is what I'm getting off of that. You know, a 10 is an end of a cycle. Painful one. More, what's going on with Aries DM, please? Oh, oh, I love this. Uh, you know, this is a Marchetti um, tarot right here. Um, I love this one. Uh, look at the big hand. It's four cups. It's the big hand of the divine. But they'd be like, ooh, ooh, what's in that cup? Because, you know, all these cups right here are empty. Empty. They're starting to. I mean, that's the school of hard knocks, right? That's contrast. Knowing what we don't want so that we can set our attentions on what we do want. Let's go. What's going on with Aries DM? Because Aries gone Zen. Here we go. Here we go. What we got? 
Oh, the magician came out. Oh, I don't know if that's good or bad. Just kind of look, uh, you know, that one. Right. Oh, shit. Man. That's like the charming trickster right there to me. But, you know, there is light above there. See it up above them? That old infinity symbol, it's there. I don't know. I don't know, man. It's the old, you know, the magician. Uh, it could be Aries, Gemini, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It's a major arcana. It's about as above, so below, right? It's about somebody desiring to manifest a whole new beginning all around in their lives. So it's nice. I like this with Divine Masculine. They definitely want all new beginnings all around in their life. Looking at a cup of love right here, definitely wanting to end a painful cycle. But just the magician right there, you know. That uh, triangle or that symbol on the head, um, it doesn't have a, a third eye in it. <laughs> I'm just saying right here. Uh, somebody uh, wanting to turn their intuition on. It is Mercury. It is a communication card for me. It's the magician. <laughs> what do we got aries aries what's going on with your dm because you gone zen what do we got right here oh freaking devil majors coming out now i definitely do not care for that magician at all you know here, 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 oh just like uh, obsession you know remember remember divine feminine we ain't obsessing about nothing, nobody anymore. If this energy is coming down the old pipeline because you share a soul with another body and another mind, you don't want to uh, hang on to this. You can say no, thank you. Not to me, not today. It's the devil, so there's a lot of obsession here. Row, row. <laughs> And we want Zen, right? And you know, I mean, if, if you got a DM out there and they got this kind of energy going on, you can see it, man. You can see it. The Ten Sword, the Four Cup, the Magician and the Devil. Going to pull one more card here. Then, you know, DF, uh, male or female, if that phone rings, you don't got to rush to that phone. As a matter of fact, you want to get in your, your, your zen. You want to breathe for a minute before you pick up that phone. Even with a text, you don't got to rush right over there and pick that text up. You can breathe. Get in your now. Which is one of my favorite books anymore. Eckhart Tolle's uh, The Power of Now. Definitely highly recommend it to all my friends. If you haven't been there, if you've been there, it's all good. You know, it's free on YouTube and all that. Eckhart Tolle, power now. Here we go. So I got him obsessing over you. Probably still a lot toxicity. Here we go. Oh, and there, and look, there's my queen of swords again on the bottom of the deck. So I'm probably not telling a lot of Aries divine feminines anything they don't know. Let these energies change a little bit if you want to play with these people. You know, many times they come in and you tell them, oh, thanks for all the information. So there could be some communication right here. And uh, show, them, show them the way out kindly. I'll, I'll think about everything you shared with me. Thank you. Have a, have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful Anyway, full-grown adults. And that's what Queen of Swords, in my opinion, she's full of wisdom. Right. Communication. It's right here, Aries. All right, give me one more. We're coming after the devil and the magician. <laughs> Ooh, they're making a plan. They're making a plan, man. Yeah, here we go. What do we got? Give me something. Give me something. What's going on with the DM? Oh, my God. Three swords. You know, I feel them. I'm shaking it out for them. You know, I am. So I'm really shaking it out for all of us. Here we go. Are you ready? Here we go. Out, out, out. Get out. Yeah, three swords, man. Broken hearted. Here we go. What's on the bottom of the deck? Six swords. Could be you, you know. Queen of swords be like, well, I'm going to take a little break here right now. What's under that? But nine cups, you know, because nine cups... Um, 
It's about wish fulfillment. It's about being doggone happy. And let's remember, you know, the simple fact that relationships equal consciousness, not happiness. Happiness comes from within us out. Let's take that into our next relationship. And, you know, if you got people around you that aren't helping you manifest that, that's why we detach from them. Twin flame or not. All that fun stuff, right? So I got six swords. Uh, walking away from, you know, the Nine of Cups. But the Nine of Cups can always talk about, you know, uh, pride and ego, can talk about overindulgence and all that other stuff that would go with this devil that's caused the three swords right here. I see it. It's very clear. You're going to be loving on yourself. You're going to make your own mind up about what makes you happy. You make you happy. And look at that right there. Uh, there's my Aries. Back at it. I would assume eight pinnacles. Stacking up them coins again. You know. Enjoying the journey. Going to do what's best for you. Nothing nothing, nothing, nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, you know. Going to go find uh, an eight of pinnacles situation. Right? Somebody that's willing to put the, the, the work. The effort. Because you know relationships. They take work. A lot of people don't want to work at them, you know. We got this real thing going on anymore that, you know, I like you, even love you, but I'm not going to put any work or effort into it. And, uh, you know, because, well, there's just so many damn options. Anyway, I don't see Aries dealing with that. I see Aries walking away from uh, something that uh, they consider to be wish fulfillment and heading out to go work in a new arena in life. All right. Oh, and there it is. Uh, and for those of you, you know, there's the divine timing card for me. It's also the money tree, Aries, right? It's seven pinnacles. It is a divine timing card. And the fool is underneath that, which is the Aries card, which is all about a fresh start, new beginning, a leap of faith for you, divine feminine. So go out and enjoy yourself. Do what's best for you. Follow, follow your bliss. You know, lots of us are meeting new friends and new families right now. Let's just see what unfolds here. Let's just relax. And really, that's what my videos are about anymore. Here we go. Here we go. Let's do it. Let's pull out some of these pink cards for DM. DM's perspective by love. Let's do it. Here we go. What do we got? Oh, my goodness. Calling in their soulmate. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah man yeah this is because it's nothing but heartache and heartbreak this is crazy uh where they've been ten swords uh, four cups three of them being empty the magician so you know they could have been lied and manipulated to and all that right and the devil's here you know toxicity which all led to three swords Look at this. Somebody's actually talking to the divine and calling in their soulmate. Wow. Here we go. Here we go. And that could be, you know, I mean, if there's still any entanglement, if divine feminine shuts the door, you know, one more time, they're going to go and clear entanglement. Or, you know, oh, look at this right here. Healing family issues. This is nice. Uh, I love this card for divine masculine energy. Healing family issues because this... This is a card of shadow work. And, you know, I mean, a twin flame is your alter ego in the 3D, which is, you know, divine feminines. I mean, it's shadow work, man. And look at this right here. This says that uh, shadow work's being done in the divine masculine. It's very encouraging if you are believing for union, even though you have detached. Your magic, Aries. Look what you're doing to them. Very powerful. Here we go. Because you've gone zen. Oh, something about children. This says your love life is being affected by children. You may know what that means. Wow. Well. Do what's best for you. I know what they want. But I don't think they're coming in with anything different, but I don't want to tell you what to do. You know what to do. You're a full-grown adult right here. Eyes wide open. Right? Eyes wide open. Here we go. Let's get a major on here for Aries. Thank you, love team. 
I got the hermit. And the hermit, the hermit don't rush into nothing. The hermit spends time with source. The hermit allows astrological alignments to line up properly. The hermit's wise enough to know what that is. The hermit uses their little phone sometimes just to Google stuff on their own. <laughs> Got those doggone three sticks in this hermit's heart too. I'm shaking them out. Out, out, out. Get out. It's about astrological alignments lining up. It's Virgo. May mean something to you, may not. It's a single card. It's a very spiritual sage card. It's a Zen card. Love you, Aries. What's on the bottom? <laughs> star. Star came out. Aquarius may mean something to you, may not. Great hope, great faith, the potential of your dreams to become reality. Nice ending to the story right here. You know, and ultimately this is what you're going to get, my divine feminines, is your star. Whatever that is to you. You know, let this unfold. I love it. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed this. I definitely enjoyed it, Aries. I'll talk to you soon. Namaste. Love and light. Bye for now.